Okay. Let me know when you can see me. You gonna come up and get on the camera? What? You wanna come up and get on the camera? Come up behind me. You think so? Okay, come on. Up and up and up and up and up. There he is. <laughs> you coughing? Yeah. You stop my coughing, Dad. Can I stop your coughing? Here, have a drink of water. that help? <laughs> oh, you still got the cough. All right, there we are. What are we doing here? We're just waiting.
you driving the car on me? Well, I'm not talking. Can you hear me now? Are we live? Who are you talking to now? I'm talking to Auntie Cory. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Test.
Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so we're good to go. We're here. All right. Well, first off, guys, I want to thank you for this. This was awesome to get in the mail the other day. I love all the drawings in there. And uh, I see there was a couple questions anyways. Uh, I have been drawing since I was a uh, very little. Since I was, uh, before I could talk, I was drawing, according to my mom. And uh, the Viper drawing. Where is he? There, right. Uh, this one, it took me, I probably did this one over a period of four or five days. Uh, I sketched it out first in pencil and then I went over it in ink and then I added shadow to it and then I added the color. So I didn't do that all at once. I did the pencil one day, I did the ink another day. I did the uh, I did the color on another day, maybe over two days for the color. Sorry, I just got interrupted by my son there. There, there you go. All right. So I hear you guys did. I see you guys actually. Uh, Mr. Rolston sent me some uh, pictures. Uh, you guys did awesome with the uh, with the RCMP officer. But uh, I know the timeline was really tight for 15 minutes for that big of a drawing. Uh, and I know there's going to be younger kids in possibly drawing with you guys uh, tomorrow. So we are going to do a much simpler RCMP officer this time. And while I was getting ready, I did a quick sketch of what uh, we're going to do. Here he is. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to leave this guy so you can slightly see what he's th the finished guy is going to look like while I draw over top of him. So if you guys are ready, grab your pencils. Let's get started. It's going to be fun. It's going to be quick. We still only got the 15 minutes. What time we had? 10 after. Okay. So for this guy, and remember, draw lightly to begin with. We're going to start with the, the square. Simple enough. I know you guys can draw a square. You've done a lot harder than that for me already. Underneath the square, we're going to draw like a squished oval shape in there. Very lightly. That'll give us the shape of our hips. And then, below that oval, we're going to draw another square. And the second square is going to be about the same size as the first square. And here, I'll turn this guy off just so you can see it. See what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> well, the yellow dot was part of the other program, so I don't know. I might be able to turn that off if I do. Uh, it's it's not the live version. It's uh, me recording it as I go, and then posting it up afterwards. Okay. Uh, Daddy's busy just for a minute. Okay. Do you want to come up? No. No. Okay, next, 
what we're going to do. Oh, you, okay. You want me to show everybody? Okay. Okay, come on, here we go. Okay, my son wants everybody to see this guy. It's his favorite little minion. Okay, there we go. They saw your minion. Thanks, my guy. All right. Okay, now then. Let's draw the legs. We're going to come from the bottom of that oval down, not quite to the bottom of the square because we got to put that foot in there. You can see that. I might even just turn this down just a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> All right, now that we've got that leg in there, in the middle of the square, I'm gonna draw this foot and it's just gonna be a, oops, I'm on the wrong layer, that's why, sorry. I'm gonna draw a V shape, it comes to the back, to the corner. And another V-shape here for this foot. Then we'll draw the top of the boots, just a straight line. Across. Okay, now we're going to draw our little angles here for the hips. One on each side. And we're going to draw a line straight across our oval. little wider than our line on our pants. I'm going to, I'm doing this a little darker so you can see the my lines, but I want you to keep drawing light and then go over the lines that you like at the end of the of the drawing, okay? So we got our line across the oval and then we're going to go down from that line and we're going to mirror this line down the back of his leg with a stripe, just to the top of the boot. Okay, those are his legs are pretty much done. Oh, we can draw a little line across there for the top of the legs. Okay, we're gonna go from the corner of our, rec our square down to the edge of the coat. And then we're going to make this part, the bottom of the square, a long rectangle. We're going to draw a line inside. We're going to divide this rectangle in half right there. That's going to be the one edge of the belt buckle. And then we'll go over this way, draw the other side of the belt buckle. Because he's kind of turned facing to our left over here, that is not right in the center. It's a little off center. Now 
We'll go over to this side. We'll draw a U shape. This is his handcuff pouch. And then draw a line across the top of the U. And while we're over here, let's go up. Just about halfway up this, what's left of our square. And we'll draw our line arcing down for the arm. Then we're going to go to the top corner. We're going to come out. And then back towards our other line, giving and leaving enough room here for the wrist. And we'll join those two lines together. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys. And we're going to just do a simple U-shape for his hand. That's all we're going to do this time. When we've done that, let's go up and we're going to draw a rectangle for his head. Do the backward C for his ear. A little arc there for his hair. Draw a line across for his eyebrow, right at about the top of the ear. And then L shape for the nose. And then just a little smile or a frown, whatever you want to put on him there. If you want to add the ponytail to make this a girl, let's just wait a second. We're going to draw this, this shoulder things in there. It would be like a, a flattened ball for this guy. And then if you want to add the ponytail, you can add that in there. Next, let's draw our shoulder belt. So it's going to go from just around the chin there, down to the bottom corner. Little arc to these lines. Little rectangle in there for the buckle.
Nope. You want me to take out the under way? I can do that. Sorry. I didn't see that one until just now. Okay, now we're going to do the arm. So a V shape. Surrounded by a nice big U or a C, I guess. Join these lines together. Just a rounded shape for the hand. We're not going to do any sort of detail on there. We'll just make it really simple. Next, we're going to have the hat, which is going to be shaped like this around the top. So if you want to start in the middle and do a C shape that comes out and goes behind the hand. So stop at the hand and then comes back in around the middle of the ear or middle of the nose and same on the other side just backwards Do our our squished U on the top for the head. So we're, rather than a nice U shape, we're going to come up and across and down. And then a little bit of the band poking through. I just got some pictures. Looks like you guys are working hard. Awesome. And we're almost done. We're just past our 15 minute mark. Okay, so just to finish it off, we got to remember to put the, the gun holster in there. And that is it. There is your Mountie. Add a little bee for the top of the pouch there. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. One last thing. Jacket opens up down the middle. Three little buttons here. And there we go. All done. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Can't wait to see how they turned out. <laughs> buttons, yeah, I just added the buttons. Time delay. Uh, there's also a collar in here if you want to add a little bit of a collar, hint of a collar. Just make that a little darker.
awesome. All right, I think that's it. We're 17 minutes in. I think that's just about the right time. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And I hope you enjoy your day tomorrow. Sounds like you got a busy day planned. Sounds like a lot of fun. I'm just going to hang out here for a few minutes. If you have any other questions, I can edit this part of the finished video. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to draw with you guys. Hopefully I'll get to do it again with some of you anyway, maybe if it's uh, with the class again next year, with a, if it's a 2-3 mix and you get the uh, lucky enough to get Mrs. Rolston again. I'm not sure how the 2-3 mix works with you guys. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>